In this video, let's understand how you can create a Windows Installer patch. A patch is an incremental update to an existing installation of your application and you cannot install a patch if the target version is missing. To create a patch, we need to have the version 1.2 MSI, which is the initial version of the MSI, and the updated version, for example, version 1.1 of the MSI, and then create a patch project with Advanced Installer. When doing so, Advanced Installer will perform a diff on the two MSI packages and output the MSP file, and by that I mean the patch file. So first, let's create a new project for version 1.0. I will only add one text file in the Files and Folders page, and after that I build a project. Now, let's increase the product version to 1.0.1 to create the upgraded project. Advanced Installer will ask you if you want to generate a new product code, but patches require consecutive versions to have the same product code, so click on Keep Existing. Next, I will add another file to have some changes specific for this version. Once I did this, I build the version 1.0.1 MSI. So, now we have our two MSIs that I mentioned in the beginning. Now, let's open up Advanced Installer again and create a new patch project. As a best practice, I always save all the projects. Next, under Target Computer, right-click and select New Upgraded. This is where we need to select our version 1.0.1 of the MSI. Next, right-click and select New Target and select the Target MSI. And this is our version 1.0, the first initial MSI. Once we've done all that, build a project. The build MSP will contain only the differences between the upgraded and the target MSI, meaning in our case that the extra text file that was added. Now, to test if the patch works, first install the version 1.0 of the MSI, then install the MSP. If we check the folder structure, we should see the second file added with the patch. 